So this video, what we're gonna concentrate on is what happens when the supervisor has completed the supervisor form, uh, the flags have been set, depending on what the supervisor has said, what email is gonna go to the manager of the school to inform them that the student did not meet expectations or did not attend. So let's set that up now. So we're gonna go back to add-ons and we're gonna click on the formula and we're gonna set up and we're gonna choose the data source again. So we're gonna go into this procedure we want to accept all of that and go to next template. And now what we want to do is we want to create two more. So we're gonna to go to three, and then it's gonna have these two here. So we're gonna give this a, a, a title of, and this one is going to be called, okay. Now, on the, on the supervisor email, we didn't need to set a condition, but we do now. We have to set a condition for these two emails because we don't want that email being sent unless the flags here these flags here are actually being set. So, so we want to select the field. So this one is uh, not met expectations. So did not meet expectations. So this is the flag for not meeting de expectations. So let's select that one. And if it's equal to A, which is the flag, mm -hmm. then we want the email to be sent. Okay, so let's do the second one. Um, and the second one is did not attend. So actually this one was wrong. This one needs to be student attended but didn't meet expectations. And this one is student did not attend. Okay, and then we want to set those to A. All right, so let's save that template. So now we want to go to templates. Now this is the supervisor email that we did in the last video. Now we want to go to uh, not met expectations. So now we want to fill out this out. So to the manager. So we want the manager's email in here. And then we want the subject, service for, and then we want the name of the student. So let's find the name there. And then on the date of service, and then let's do a colon, not met expectations. And then we wanna put in our email in here. So I've done this earlier, so I'm just gonna copy, copy this in. So once we finish the, uh, the manager email for not met expectations, then we go to non-attendance and we complete this one. So again, we want this to go to the manager. So manager's email. And again, we want to put a subject in. So this will be service for, and then again, we put the name in on date of service, colon, non-attendance. So in here we can put the body of it. So I'm just gonna copy and paste one that I've done earlier. So when you've entered all the information, uh, then we can look at the preview. Incidentally, I'll show you in a second how you can actually edit this without actually going into formula. Uh, um, that's pretty simple. So let's go to preview and we can see uh, manager email non-attendance, row two is gonna to go to this email address and there's the email two for non-attendance and two for not met expectations. So let's send that now. And if we go on here, we have now two more columns uh, indicating what the, whether the emails have gone out or not. So it should have gone out for one, two, three. One, two, three. So let's go to the email. So here's the non-attendance email, not met expectations email. I notice there's a problem here. It says undefined manager. I need to go back to formula and see why that is. Okay, so let's start up formula, set up, Build and preview. So let's go to not expectations. All right, so service area. Ah, uh, okay, so instead of service area, it should be just service. So there's the mistake, it should be that. So let's just change that on here as well. There we go. Okay, so that should sort that problem out. Okay, so that's how we set up the emails that are gonna go to the manager and the supervisor. In the next video, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at how we can send all the information that the student has entered into a document that they can keep for their records. Now, this is the most important part. This is what we want the students to have so they can have a hard copy or an electronic copy of the information that they entered. And then that information can actually be stored and sent to the manager and the supervisor as well, if necessary. <laughs>